In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tomoe River Notebook. This is the officially branded one made by the manufacturer, the mill. And I'll be doing a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink. And as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Tomoe River Notebook from the manufacturer Sakai TP. TP stands for technical paper. I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce Sakai. This is what I'm calling the new old Tomoe River. That is to say, it is not the original Tomoe Gawa product and not the current Sanzen Tomoe River. There's a lot of, I don't know, history or controversy about Tomoe Gawa discontinuing the paper, disassembling the machine that it was made on, transferring it to a different production site, blah, blah, blah. To me, as a casual Tomoe River paper user, it doesn't really matter. I think the original Tomoe Gawa was maybe a little bit more crinkly and a little bit more resistant to bleeding. But again, as a casual user, I don't really think it makes that much difference. I know Tomoe River lovers are not going to agree with me on that, but for most people, this is a very similar product, same paperweight, and very fountain pen friendly. Now, being that this is an official Tomoe River product, we have the Tomoe River logo here with the mountain on it, and the official Tomoe River products, in my opinion, have always been on the expensive side. And I think this, with a retail of around $20, $21, is on the expensive side. Now, I do see this for sale on Amazon for $14, and at that price, I like it a lot better. Now, let's walk through it. You get 80 sheets of 68 GSM cream Tomoe River paper. And this is not the 52 GSM paper that you get in the Hobonichi. Uh, I would say the 52 is the most desirable version. But it's 160 pages or 80 sheets. And they call the printing color indigo. To me, it looks black. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind, but it looks pure black. And there's a 5 millimeter dot grid. They do these in, I believe, a B6 size also. And they also have dot grid and plain. I'm not sure they did a ruled one. I currently don't see one available for sale, but they may have done that. It's made in Japan, again, by Sky TP and Paper Paper. I'm not 100% sure what that is. On the back, it's the same, but in Japanese, which makes sense. Okay, let's take this off. So the cover, they're saying it's an indigo color. To me, it looks pure black, and we have this really cool white printing. I think this actually looks really nice. I'm not usually a huge fan of a busy cover, but it's pretty cool. Each page style has a slightly different design. Really pretty border here, and then you can see the dot grid that we're going to get inside, and it kind of fades into the middle here. A5, 5mm, made in Japan, notebook. And on the back, we have the dot grid down the middle, again with a fade. Now, it's a stitched binding with 16-page signatures, and there are 10 of them to get us 160 pages. It is very flexible, very nicely put together. You know, most Tomoe River notebooks have a really good drape. I would say that's my favorite part of Tomoe River paper. You'll notice that the, the grid goes all the way edge to edge, and it is a light blue color. There are no features to this. It's literally just pure grid sheets. There's no perforated pages, no bookmark, no nothing. It's a really flexible notebook. I don't think that it's going to be very durable. I think the binding is fine because it's stitched and then we have, you know, it's taped along the side. But it's quite a soft notebook and we have sharp corners. So if you travel with this, I think they will get bumped. It's somewhat easy to mark the textured paper cover here. So I think if you use it a lot, it's probably going to start looking pretty beat up, but maybe that's the effect that they want, something that looks worn. I think that can look cool. Now going to the paper test, we'll take a look at the top. It's typical Tomoe River performance. It looks really good. You know, I give the face of this a A. There's 
no signs of bleeding. The paper is coated, so it's very smooth. So all the lines are really crisp. There's none of the paper texture coming through in any of the lines on the paper. So really crisp and you get nice shading. This is one that also sheens pretty nicely, although I don't think I used really any sheening inks for this paper test. On the back, all of the fountain pens passed with no problem. And we do see the Pilot V10 Rollerball bleeding through just a touch. Same with the Pentel Energel coming through a little bit. And we're also getting a bit on the fine liners, not the not the Pentel sign pen, but the Schneider Express is trying to come through a little bit. Same with the Stabilo Sensor 3.0 millimeter. And, you know, the Troublemaker pens did actually decently, they, but they did bleed through in spots. The Stetler Lumocolor Permanent Marker, the Sharpie, the Pilot Oil Drawing Pen, and the Copic Sketch. For fountain pens, the performance is really, really good. So I definitely recommend this paper for fountain pens. Really any Tomoe River paper that I've used has been very appropriate for fountain pens. For roller balls and for fine liners, I'd probably pick another paper, but the bleed through isn't so bad except for on the pilot that I wouldn't use it necessarily with this. It just wouldn't be my first choice. So what are my pros and cons for the Tomoe River notebook? Well, I think the biggest pro here is the build quality, you know, the overall finish and the way that it's put together is really quite flawless, I would say. There's no issues in the build at all. It drapes very nicely because it has nice stitched binding and this kind of very thin, flexible uh, paper soft cover. And overall, it's just a pretty enjoyable notebook to use. I'm not typically a fan of having a lot of stuff on the, the covers, but the matte black with the white printing looks pretty cool in my opinion. And overall, it's a pretty nice notebook to use. In terms of cons, I don't really like these sharp corners with the soft cover and then the very, you know, soft 68 uh, GSM paper. It's going to be really easy to bump these. Uh, the cover does mark pretty easily. So if you're traveling with this, it's going to kind of look beat up, uh, I think, relatively quickly. The price is on the higher side at around $21 or $20 for the A5 size. Now for that, you could get a endless recorder with Tomoe River. They did discontinue it, but there's still some floating out there. And for that, you're getting more pages of the same paper and you're getting a hardcover, you're getting an elastic strap, a bookmark, paginated pages. The officially branded Tomoe River stuff is always expensive, and this is no exception. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time.